Hi everyone, <coughs> uh, back for another one. Uh, this is a, a chapel that's on my doorstep. Uh, never even knew it was here. It's about three miles from home. I got talking to some people and uh, it's in this, in this chapel. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's just farmland. It is literally, the lane coming down to it is terrible. But I don't know how they uh, haven't maintained it or whatever. Because I think it's a working chapel every now and again. Anyway, I'm going to have a look in here. It's a bit windy today, so excuse the... Uh, excuse the... Um, the wind. I need to invest in a, another microphone. There it is, look. A little tiny chapel. See what we can find here. I noticed some newer bits there, but it looks like some old parts here. I don't think I'm going to get away without being rained on here. But hopefully the chapel's got a uh, it's got a bit of a doorway there to get in underneath as I need to. Right, I don't know what these are going to read like because they look pretty uh, lichened up. Edward Williams of this parish who died in 1883, aged 59 years. Also Anne, his wife, who died in, what's that say? 1901, aged 72. That's Williams. Lots of Williams everywhere. And I'd say there's several here. You can see that the ground Several non sort of uh, headstone. Yeah, the wind's roaring today, folks. Here we are, Mary, daughter of Ian A. Williams, who died at Bobmin, April the 30th, 1910, age 46. So that's the daughter. That's the parents there, Edward and Anne, and the daughter's buried beside them. I have to be careful when I'm walking here. There's another Williams here, get in beside here. Edward Tinney Williams, who died February the 20, 20th. 1917, aged 90 years old, and his beloved wife Martha Williams. She died in 1911, aged 82. God, this was a lovely little chapel when it was going. I think it's still used now. Here we have Henry John Harris of Lower Triscoll. Died in 1929, age 76. Also, Mary Ann, beloved wife of the above, who died in 1923, age 63 years. And also, John James, their beloved son, who was killed in France. Oh, bless him, soldier. In 1918, age 27 years. I have to remember a poppy for him next year. In actual fact, there's a little, a little figure there. Little teddy of some sort, look. Oh, and yes, and he's got his little poppy as well. Oh, that's good. Little pop. Give him a little bit of comfort there. Little cuddly toy monkey. Yes, yeah, so that's John James. He died in 1918, age 27. Damn shame, isn't it? This one is a bit harder to read. Jane. Funny, I should say, hard to read. Guess what she's called? Jane Reed. R E E D. Died. 
August. I can't see where he died. August 1876. Age 76 years. August the 20th by the look of it, 26th. Jane Reed. I'm going to get some of this ivy off here. There you go, Jane. I did notice something else here as well. Well, that's a headstone as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Have a look here, folks, shall we? Don't like leaving people behind. Ouch, brambles. Stone too. Big stone. Mary Mary Reed. Mary Reed of What's that say? Cold. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's different. It's a Devon one. Oh, bless her. Uh, Mary Reed of Cold Cold Ridge, Devon, in the fellowship with the Bible Christians. About 25 years. To private member, hang on, Mary Reed of Coldridge, Devon, in fellowship with the Bible Christians. there then 25 years <coughs> to ask a private member five <sighs> I'm gonna have to destroy it if I can right let's have a look here see what's going on God who was in fellowship with about 25 years, private member, five, uh, local preacher, uh, and about <coughs> about, what does that say? 18 faithful See, Labor oh, laborious, something, min something minster, having been secretary of the Bible Christians missionary, secretary of the conference in 1844 president of the assemble oh blimey it's getting longer shame it's covered up this is a this is a good piece of history here secretary of the conference and in 1841 president of the assembly the departed this life in april 
1849. Age 46 years. Blimey, she she done all that in that short life. That's a, I'm glad I found that. That's a piece of good piece of history. I'll see if I can get it long ways in a minute, folks. I'll have to put you on. Wow, that's a brilliant find. That is. That's Mary Reed, and that's Jane Reed. So we'll carry on. I know I had to step near the grave on that, but I wanted to get that cleaned up. Okay, we'll carry on here, folks. Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to last because the weather is looking really dodgy. Reverend, ah, oh, we've got a reverend here. Reverend Jabez Warren died February 1900, aged 30. Oh, he didn't live long today. God, as a reverend, I bet he had some uh, preaching here. Spread the word, Thomasine. Okay, here's Thomasine, the mother of William. O'Brien, William O'Brien, died April 21st, 1821, aged 83. That's unusual, O'Brien. And there's the maker's name, Edgecombe. Edgecombe. There's a little one there, they always had two of them. Truro, Edgecombe at Truro, that stone was made. Okay. Oh, this has been kept quite well anyway. Yeah, as you see, there's uh, it's a lovely little place, but like I said, it's in literally in the middle of nowhere. I never knew it was here, but I'm glad the uh, people tipped me off that it was. Okay. Here we have William Allen. Little Tora, Little Torrington, Devon. A lot of Devon ones here. In Jesus Christ, what does that say? Who? Salvation. Sorry, through Jesus Christ. He dances to the prayer. Any date? Uh, August 22nd, 1845. Aged 55 years. Yes. William Allen. Yeah, there's lots of unmarked here, loads of them. These were uh, Methodists, I think. Is it Methodist Chapel? I don't know. I'm, don't quote me on that, but... There seems to be quite a lot of poor people going into here. I have a good mind to uh, take that ivy off there, actually. I will, if I can. Yes, yeah, windy folks, cut. Right, we've got to the next one. Let's mind these humps here, because these are people. Mary Pomeroy, Mary Pomeroy. Died April 1814. Aged 58 years. Also George, her husband. He died in 1843. Aged 70 years. And as you see folks, there's lots of 
loads of unmarked deer. You can see them all down through here, see all the humps. If I go down a bit more, you might be able to see me. Monkey puzzle tree. That's been here for a couple of hundred years, surely. Yeah, look at all these unmarked deer. Look. There's little stones here. I don't know if they say anything or no. I don't know if I can get a reading on this one. Anne. Annie. David, wife, what's that say? I can't see that. Sorry folks, you can't read it. Wood manor. Wood manor. Looks like Hyatt. Met us. She's called Annie anyway. What's that say then? I think that's a stone maker. I think there was more to this stone. I'm not going to get a read off that one there as well. Go on that. Shame. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a read off that one. Yeah, you can see them here, folks. See the. Another grave there, here, there. You can see the unmarked graves there. Look. More here. I'm looking to find a path between them actually. Here comes the rain again. Right, get a reading, Anne, Anne Hanford Allen of this parish who died in 1890, aged 54 years. Also John Hanford Allen, died in 1896, aged 77 years. Allen, unusual. It's a lovely little churchyard chapel, sorry, here. I'm not sure if I can get a reading on this one, mine. It would be if it, if it was sunny. I'd say William Pascoe, who departed this life. Um, departed this life, aged 75 years. In Janu uh, January the 6th, by the look of it. Date down. Date would be here. Um, eighteen, eighteen ninety, eighteen ninety one, I'd say, eighteen ninety three. 1883. William Pascoe. I'll take a photograph of that because people would be interested. Right, folks, I'm going to shut this part one off. I'm going to go behind this grave a minute. Oh. See, it's a bit of a 
we've packed them in here. As you can see, these are all graves, look. I've had to go between these graves. I'm hoping that they've got records. I don't like the, the, the idea of, uh, you know, people just chucked it, put it in the ground and not ever thought of again. What have we got here? This is an affectionate remembrance of James Jewelry, who died at St. Stephen's. It's been five miles from here, I think. 1925, age 75. Also, Elizabeth, his wife, died in 1924, age 73. And here we have a recent, more recent one here. William Ewart Ball, died in eight, 1982, age 80. Devoted husband of Ruby, also Ruby, Isabel. She died in 1996, aged 82. Right folks, this is the end of part one from Innes, Innes Chapel. Um, I'll carry on to see what other ones I can do. See people still come out here, it's nice, I think. Middle of nowhere and they still find it. Loving memory of Tamps, Tamsin. Beloved wife of John Williams of this parish, who died in 1916 on October the 2nd, age 42. Also, Willi John Williams, who died March 17th, 1929, age 70. That's Williams. If I can get you in closer. John Williams. There's the later, obviously the later generation. Burt, Ethel Burkbeck died in 1986. And also John Wade Burkbeck died in 1987, age 80. Right folks, I'll shut this one off now. This is part one, so Bye for now. Catch you later.